Right, so there's a bunch of switches. They all have numbers. That made a sound. I wonder if I'm just supposed to turn all of them to, like, on. Because <laughs> I don't think I can put them back anymore. My journal. The final act of sabotage. The bastard has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of his obstruction and then I will render this sabotage impotent once and for all. Hmm. So there's a little area down here which I can access. I'll go there in a second. I, w I think I'm just going to try to turn all these things. Hmm. Eight and three are the only ones that seem to be entirely. St oh no! Wait, there we go. I'm not really sure what effect this has on anything, but there you go. So number three is the only one that's just really not having a good time right now. So let's see what we have in the darkness as we move on. More dark tunnels filled with pipes and general annoyance. And make our way downwards. Down the ladder. Descend our way into complete and total darkness. Danger. Compound X. Highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic. Uh, that's fine. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. I'm just twiddle twaddling here for a while. Oh, I guess. Oh, because this thing's... There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> If that was actually the entire puzzle, I'm going to sue someone. I probably don't want to touch any of that, but... God, it's making that noise. It's making that noise. You know the noise. The radioactive noise. Except usually I think that sound is... given off by scanners rather than actual radioactive things. But there you go. What do I know about radioactivity? I'm not a doctor. I'm someone who plays video games. I don't know anything. I don't have knowledge about how things work. That'd be silly. Gosh, that was actually the entire puzzle. I mean, there has to be like a jump scare or something or a monster or whatever just hiding about here right now. Like, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, it actually goes down. I didn't actually notice these things before until now. So there you go. Problem solved. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Let's go back to the thing where surely nothing of badness. There we go. Journal. My journal. Now to find the ignition controls inside the machine once more. Later that I stride forward to the catwalks I am closed. I'm coming, my darkings. I have almost saved you and stuff and whatever. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. I am walking to the two levers. Green. Red? What is going on here? Now, Mandus, set them free. Set them all free. I can't really tell. Okay, there we go. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.
I'm shocked. It turned out that the saboteur was the guy on the phone all along. Man, didn't see that one coming. Man, this saboteur, you can't come in. No, you can't come in. You must sleep in the yard. Bad, piggly, biggly, biggly, biggly. Sick and dirty feet of the animal. Stinking child, stinky child, filthy, icky, 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 icky. And then it turned out the orb had taken control of Mandus, or Oswald as I like to call him, all along. And the saboteur was actually the dude. <laughs> and all was unsurprisingly predictable. <laughs> uh, oh well. And emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Twenty ninth of December, eighteen ninety nine. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this tiny cog wheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve as a, a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that? which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body, his machine, unto those, until those children of his soul turn into a new motion. And he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hand to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. And a bunch of pigs fell down, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Not really a revelation so much as an expectation, really. But there you go. Let's see what we just wrote down in our journal as we were climbing up a ladder. <laughs> Betrayed. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice turned agape into my open heart. <laughs> my open heart. Uh, warning, steam vent access only at low pressure. Well, that's probably not now then, but oh well. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landers? You know we are in so well enough. August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may have indeed vaporized its source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges into pipes, causing them to fall. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am proud, and then feed them to the pigs. You are not a very good person. Oswald. Uh, man, this is all just kind of horrible. Pig's gauge. <laughs> uh, pig's gauge. That is oddly amusing to me. Um, I wonder if this actually says where I am. Like if I'm currently there in the lit up area or not. I can't really tell. Uh, there's probably something here I can interact with. Automatic pressure regulator. Shut off. Uh, this looks like something I should be able to break somehow. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Everything's good. Yep, that's the sound of progress. Uh, yep, 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 yep. 
Uh, let's keep that there for now. Hmm. Is there anything else I can break? <laughs> oh, wait, this actually did the thing. Okay. I think the machine is stopping. Yeah. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! You unholy bastard! Indeedly. Hmm. This area is a lot more fiddly to reach than the other one. Is this where I came from, or is this where I'm supposed to go? Because I don't remember climbing past those two, like, structures. So there you go. And I'm pretty sure there were more pig heads in the other area as well. So there you go. Oh, another teddy bear. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies, and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ew. Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! Hmm. It's so dark, I can't even see anything anymore, and my lantern's kind of broken, I guess. I don't know why, but my lantern just stopped working. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that bear. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was wondering when that was gonna happen. It didn't look like I was gonna continue walking for much longer there. Oh. Piggy. And a note. December 1st, 1899. There is a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you use your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico, and then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. Your spoon was the same you gave to your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I ask. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? So yeah. That was an interesting message. Oh, my lantern works again. That pig was hanging out there, though. I wonder if he's, like, patrolling the area or something. Or if he just walked to the right and that's it. As per usual. <laughs> oh, that's probably not good. That's probably not good. Man, this is the saboteur. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. It was me all along. Is that another note that I just wrote down? Or? Oh, no. Uh, that's not going to happen. Right, so when the steam's gone, I guess that's good. It is. Wow. Escape from the pipes. Through the pipes. Inf in the throes of my evil, I sent the children into the pipes to clean them, and it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of engines. I will ignore the burning of my nostrils from the fumes that the godless compound X that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Steam vents. All about me, the thunder of machinery, the blast of building steam, and I can't pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster, cracked, my circulation stagnated, my vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Oh, there you go. Somewhere there's probably more things I can break and then this thing stops. And that is my goal. Find things to break and break them. The thing is, I have to find them first and... I'm a bit worried about turning on my lantern right now. Because of those sounds. Because of those sounds, I am a bit worried to turn on my lantern. 
But I'm gonna do it anyway because I haven't died yet and that's worrying. Hmm. Another one broken. I wonder when it will be enough though. When will I have broken enough things, I wonder? Because the steam is still flowing quite freely there. Steam access only at low pressure. Can I go through here now? Yeah. Journal. My journal. The pressure regulator. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force the temporary solid of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Man, does you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. I'm still going to call him Oswald. I don't care. Uh, so there's three gears here. Fixed. Don't worry, guys. I fixed it. Come on. Run, 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 run. Running upstairs. Ignoring the sounds that I'm hearing below me. Because I am frightened of the dudes with lamps. And I don't have a lamp to call my own. So I will leave these horrible creatures alone. I will no longer free the souls. I'm gonna make my way to my journal, into the pipes and out of the engines. Not quickly through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarls itself about me. Its unholy and human mind coil and slick and sends its dark tendrils to the conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets. I will fetch help. I will shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Everything leads to a dead end. There we go. Uh, oh. oh, God. I'm getting hurt a lot. <laughs> but it seems a bit unavoidable. This is what you dreamt of to I would stop you. I would save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my peas. Kill them all. Hmm. <sighs> well, we escaped that. Rather unfortunate event. Anything to save them. You profit my viscera. We make you escape forever. You slit the throat, bleed out the pig, and release it into the kernel. That you set your species free. And then... The sounds became a bit different. Very different, in fact. As we ride the elevator upwards. Just a little bit further. Slowly but surely. Happily. Though I do wonder that if I am the saboteur... <clears throat> if I am the saboteur that whose plan was basically me to turn on the machine, why did that elevator break so violently when it went down the shaft? Because it seems that that's a bit of a dangerous idea. But, oh well. I'm gonna follow these guys. They move too quickly for me. Oh God, no, what have I done? And thus Oswald realized his mistakes and found out that creating an evil army of pigmen was maybe not the nicest thing to do. Hmm. Locked door. That guy seems dangerous. He's moving oddly slowly in an area which I can't actually access. And that worries me somewhat. Hmm. I don't know what's going on over here, though. 
This music, though, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. October 25th, 1899. No one misses the poor. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. This privilege, this pretension. They're so-called leaders. These pillars of society is rich and fanciful. They wear their filth on the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them, and then we will feed from them. 